half of the first verse or mm -hmm. rusty old four hot on the stage big texas sky i didn't hear me at first yeah my bad my bad my bad it's okay here we go i'm going into this meeting with universal to meet the head pat higdon but i'm not exactly prepared which is very stressful so the only songs i really have are rough i don't really have everything i need to have and i think they're expecting me to have it you took me to a book damn it i just can't stand the hypocrisy in the house i just can't i can't like the audacity like i can't get over carrie going back and saying stuff to amy carrie has talked trash about amy since day one she couldn't stand her and I never once went back to Amy and said, wow, this is what Carrie said about you. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I had one conversation with Carrie about that, and Carrie went back and totally betrayed my trust with her and told Amy. Mm -hmm. Everybody talks crap about everybody. It's nothing new to me. As far as I know, Jody's a really cool person, and I'm going to be a cool person with her. And if everyone's being a bitch to her, I'm not going to be a follower and be a bitch to her. I'm, I'm going to be your friend. I don't even think you can vent in this house without it not getting to the other person. That's why I just keep my mouth shut. And that's why you should, too, because then that way you're not in the, well, well, who's telling? I agree, and that was the first time I did that. And you know what, Real Talk, you can vent to me anytime, because... I know, and I trust you. Hey, I have a meeting with Pat. Pat Higdon is the head of Universal Publishing, and it's not very often that you get to meet with a head of the publishing company. It's amazing that Pat is even meeting with me. I mean, that in itself is, is really, really, really big. You're now looking for a new record deal, new yeah, publishing deal? Yeah, I'm new, looking for a new record deal and a new publishing deal. Um, I've been out in California writing songs pertaining to what I'm experiencing, everything that I'm going through. Right. I was doing a demo session and it's not quite finished, but I do have one rough that I'd love to play it. Well, let's listen. Okay. If Universal signs me, that would be so huge. I haven't had a publishing deal in over a year. It means so many things. It means having a home. It means credibility. And for me, as an artist, that is so much of what I want. Reminds me of a boy I used to know. It's still in rough form. That's good, though. That's that really great for a rough. I mean, we're definitely interested, and we'd love to look further. Okay, that's just great. Listen further. Okay, this like made my day. <laughs> good to meet you. At nice last. to meet you. I know. Why you want to keep me in suspense? I mean, I, mean, I want to know. He just said that they're they're definitely interested. And, oh my god. Yeah, and for, he was nice. He was really nice. I was nervous. Were you? Well, yeah. I guess so. I'd be nervous too, man. Overall, I think my trip to Nashville was a success. I have accomplished so much, and the Universal Publishing thing was huge. I love you. I love you too. Bye. To that boy I used to know. You want to tell you what's been going Did on? I want to hear all about it. You have no idea what's been going on. Okay, what's the deal? Amy and Jody are apparently good friends, and that's her girl. And I think she's under the impression that you try to come in there and sabotage their friendship. Oh my god! Oh my god! And I could throw Carrie under the oh bus because she said god. so many things about Amy, and I never went back and told Amy. And I'm thinking, yeah, yeah but she said all those things about Amy because, because about you told her Amy was saying. I should call Jody out and say, "Well, tell her." I'm thinking, what could she say? I cannot begin to tell y'all how over it I am, though. I think it's so oh, it's high so school. annoying. Them. I'm serious, and I'm, I'm like at that point to where I'm going to go off. I can't help it. I am just coming off my trip from Nashville. Very excited about it and actually want to talk about it with someone and walk into drama, drama, and more drama. I don't know what this is, and I'm pissed off about it. I mean, it's bothering me. I'm friends with you. I'm bothered by this. I'm bothered. The only thing that I could think of was the Bobby Tomlin incident that Carrie and I talked about that could have been brought back up to you. That was the only thing that I could possibly think of. Bobby, he wrote a song for you? Yeah. He don't even know you. How the hell he write a song about you? 
That was one situation where I talked to Carrie about it because our friendship was totally in a bad place. And she was upset about the Bobby Tomerlin thing. I said, I talked to you about it. I said, even Amy sees it this way. Carrie was just talking She was saying, oh, well, she made Bobby write a song about her. I made Bobby write a song about me? You were nicer to her and she was nicer to you. Yeah, but a lot of things that I said to you, like when we had that conversation, she'd repeat it back to me. Well, you think I'm this, you think I'm that. And those are all things I said to you. So yeah, you told her the insulting things I said about her. Like she wants to not be accountable for what she says? They need to come in and confront me. Are they just, are they too afraid to confront me? Jody, hey, y'all want to have this conversation? Y'all can bring your asses in here. I can hear y'all. That's fine, and I want you to hear me, Carrie. Well, come on and bring it. Well, come on and bring it. Because I think you're full of shit. You're twisting my words, and I don't like it, Jody. I think that you're playing me and Amy, and it's bull You think I'm playing you guys? Yes. Be rational. Don't get all hot-headed. You're the one that came to me and told me all the stuff that Amy said. I didn't say anything about it until you started pissing me off and twisting my words and telling people I was saying I wasn't saying. Taking it out of context, and that's where it all came from. Jody wants to believe that... Amy and I have this big tension built up and we just don't like each other and that's why all this has happened. Carrie, you're quite manipulative. You told Amy that I said constantly that she doesn't like you? Yes, you did. Because the Bobby Tomlin incident it got brought up. It doesn't matter. And yeah, I said, we had already Amy agrees that. with me. And don't twist but my words. And then you went You're the twisting car. my words, No, Carrie. you're twisting mine. I never you said, said those that exact Amy words. didn't like you. It's very amusing. It's entertaining. It's nice to have drama when it's not involving myself. The confrontation and tension was between the two of you, and you no, would constantly ask me. There's never any tension.